Hello and welcome. In this video we'll talk about tuning in Genesis. We'll set component parameters for tuning, we'll use equations for tuning, we'll show you how to do gang tuning, step, percentage tuning, check marking tune values, and using sliders. To illustrate tuning in Genesis and how easy it is, we're going to start with a uh, simple bandpass filter. This is basically a two-pole filter that's capacitively coupled. Uh, with equal resonator values on each side. And then the plot on the right indicates the response curve for our filter. Let's look at the simulation uh, properties. And you see we're tuning from 20 to 250 megahertz, 101 points. Now, in order to make a component tunable, we double click on it to get the properties. We check the tune box, press OK. Notice that the part value has changed in color and also it appears here in our tune window on the lower left. I can tune or change the part by using the up page or down page keys on my keyboard or alternately using a mouse wheel uh, to uh, scroll up and down in values. And You notice as I do uh, that our response changes and we have two values, the original as well as the tune response so we can compare the two. If we want to go back to the original, then you see here I just selected the original values and it goes back to the original plot. Well, that's how we tune one component, but what if we want to tune a group of components? Um, so the way we do that, and this is the easiest way, is draw a box around all the components you want to change and go up to the schematic uh, menu and see you can select between fixed or tunable. We select tunable you notice now all the parts have changed colors indicating that they are tunable. Another method is go up to the Actions menu and here we can select not just the primary uh, parameters of the component but also other parameters such as Q and resistance and so forth. But other, uh, well, there are other parameters associated with the component. And you'll notice also in the uh, Tune window that all the component values appear there ready for tuning. So having showed you how we set an individual or group of components uh, to be made tunable, let me show you another way. We'll select the equations block and here we're going to enter in two new variables. One will be LP and it, that'll be equal to 12. I'll put a question mark in front of the value to indicate that it's tunable. Likewise for CP equals 180. Uh, again with a question mark to indicate that it's tunable. I'll press the Go button to uh, make sure that all the syntax is correct, in which it is. I'll close that. And now I'm going to change one of the inductors uh, from 12 nanohenries, and I'll have that point to the new variable that's in the equation block, LP. And I'll do the same thing for our parallel capacitor here. I'll uh, change that from 180 and point that towards CP. And when I do that now, both components now take their values from the equation block. And you see that also in the tune window that we have two parameters, new ones, uh, equation CP, equation, equation LP. And here I'm tuning uh, the, the one of the capacitors and then I also tune the value in the equations block. And of course you can see the, the tuning right away. I'm going to put that back to the original values and then check mark our graphs and we're back at the original values. You may have guessed where we're going uh, with this, and that is to show you how we do gang tuning. So uh, what we're going to do is change the remaining two values in our second resonator. Uh, the inductor will change the point towards the uh, parameter LP, and likewise for C2, we're going to have that point to CP also. So now we have only three uh, tunable components to make up our filter, but that makes tuning a lot easier. And here you see the three of them appear in our tune window. So as I select the uh, inductor and I change that, see what happens to our filter response, but we're tuning, tuning both uh, inductors at the same time and likewise the capacitors at the same time. Uh, and then, of course, the coupling here we can change. So uh, that's how we do gang tuning in, in Genesis. It's very easy. You just use the equations block to tune more than one parameter. All right, I'd like to show you some other tuning features in Genesis. Um, if you look over here to the tune window, you see these variables and uh, how we can uh, step or change the variables. In the step size, we can specify a step value. And as I tune that, you notice it changes by an increment of 1. 
So that's what step size means. If we go to standard, that allows us to tune a variable or in an instance of ver uh, capacitors and resistors, they occur in standard sizes and it tunes by that. In the normal setting, we can set the percentage of change for our value when we step through it or, or change it. Here you see it's set at 5%. And when I change uh, uh, the capacitor, which is 34 picofarads, as I step that, it goes up there to uh, 35.7. If I change this to 10% and then step the value again, it'll go up to 37.4, or 3.4 is just 10% of the value. Now let me show you some other features, and that is um, uh, check marks. You notice uh, the graph here as it appears red, and as I tune it, of course, you get two graphs appearing. Uh, you see this uh, name or state called original. That's the original state values or, or values of the components. If I change this one to uh, 54 picofarads, okay, you'll notice that there are two traces. One's the original, one's the tune. Now let me put a value in here and save that by clicking on the checkpoints. And you'll notice now we have two values, both the original and the 54. And I can switch between those uh, to look uh, at, at those two different values. I'm going to change it to 24 now. And I'm going to save 24 as, as one of the states. And now I'll have three values to compare, one against the other. And as I uh, select each of those, I can scroll through the different responses. And of course, you'll see the different responses as I check those different values. Um, this becomes very helpful when you're tuning networks and you want to say, uh, oh, which one of these uh, states or these parameters turn out to be the best? And this is one way of being able to compare one against the other without having to uh, uh, remember what those states or those values were. I've talked about different ways of setting up tune variables and how to tune them and uh, also how to look at different states for tuned uh, parameters. Let me show you another way to tune. Uh, through the annotations bar we can add pictures and diagrams and so forth. The other thing we can add is a slider bar. So I'll select that and drag that down onto our schematic and double click on that and that brings up the properties. I'm going to set the minimum for 20 and the maximum for 60. I'm also going to make this horizontally oriented and every time I move it, I want to run a simulation. And now I'm going to point this towards uh, actually our coupling capacitor, the value for that. Press OK. OK. And now you notice uh, 34 picofarad is what we had set up as uh, standard. And as I move the slider left and right, lo and behold, look what happens to our, our uh, not only schematic, but our, our graph. So we are tuning it real time with that slider bar. Uh, let's add another one. Again, from the annotations menu bar, I'll drag another one on, select it, we'll make that uh, horizontal also, and we're going to point that towards our common uh, inductor LP, and we'll use a minimum of uh, 10, no, let's make that 5, and then a maximum of uh, uh, 20 nanohenries, okay, and of course it defaults to 12, now as we move that, Again, we see the, uh, the result of our uh, tuning our components uh, real time. It's just that easy. Anyway, I hope I've shown you in the last uh, few minutes how easy it is to do tuning in Genesis. Thank you.